Smash truck. All right, you guys win. Welcome back to Snestrunk Plays Secret of Mana. God damn it. All right, so I was going to go play uh, Robotrek after playing Magic Sword, but fine. You guys win. I'm going to play Secret of Mana. I got, like, uh, several requests saying, please keep playing Secret of Mana. God damn it. I hate these guys. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and keep playing this for a while. Maybe 10 more episodes. Uh, I guess maybe eventually, maybe like a year, two years from now, I'll finish playing this game. And uh, Jesus, I'm getting my ass kicked here. Look at Sprite is almost dead. God damn. Come on. Jeez, 23? Gotta do something about that. Okay. There we go. Alright, that's more like it. But yeah, I uh, was going to play Robotrek. It appears that the demand is not there to play Robotrek. Uh, as much as I'd love to uh, play, I gotta switch to the girl here. She has the whip equipped. Let's uh, sneak over here and uh, select back to our main character. We're gonna wanna go ahead and uh, heal our sprite here because he's the magic guy in our party. And coming up is a big time boss fight and uh, he's gonna be a integral part to that uh, part. Uh, by the way, uh, I'm uh, several uh, sheets to the wind here in terms of drinks, but uh, god damn, more of these guys? Seriously? But uh, the, uh, what was I going to say? Oh yeah. Um, hey, Clyde Dog reaches level 12. That'll come in handy. Oh god, I hate these fucking things. Anyway, um, what I did off screen, yeah, you don't want to fight those things. <laughs> The, the chest pieces, you want to avoid those because they are not fun to fight. And they really don't give you that much uh, level up experience points in this game. But uh, the... Uh, um, shit. The shit. Uh, no, anyway. Um, the... Uh, uh, I, I uh, leveled up my uh, sprite character's magic off screen to level 1. Um, I think it takes a really, really long time to get to level 2, so I only did it to level 1, and I highly recommend doing that if you're playing this game. Before, In other words, before you get to the Underground Palace, uh, go level up your sprite's magic, and go stay at the inn, go back to the Underground Village, stay at the inn, and then come back and level up again, or whatever you need to do. Because it is really important, because this next boss fight is pretty tough. And uh, yeah, we run into a gnome, and he's a bit of an asshole, and he has some kind of uh, dipshit friend here. Hey, look, there he is. Okay, so here we encounter kind of a, the inherent flaw of this game, and that we can pretty much pause the game to incur an attack anytime we want to. Okay, the girl, we don't give a shit about. It. Sorry, girl, but we just don't. Uh, but the sprite, we uh, really want to keep alive. Got 72 hit points. Um, but I'd like to keep myself alive, or my character alive, just for the extra hit points there. There, as soon as he, as soon as the boss uh, materializes there, you want to do the magic spell. I think he has like 1,200 hit points. Like five magic spells should do it, I guess. I don't know. That's a whole guess. And is he. Can I do it yet? Nope, I can't. There we go. See? Just like that. See, the game is. The, the programmers are smart enough to have the boss, like, travel around in fireballs and shit. 
to avoid having spam attacks. But it really doesn't matter because you can still... Look at that. There you go. He's dead. Now, if you do level zero with the regular magic levels against this boss, good fucking luck because the damage is like half. You do like 60 damage to the boss every spell. Good luck. Fucking A. Not gonna happen. Hey, I got the axe orb, which means I can upgrade my axe. Who has the axe? Nobody has the axe. Who cares about the axe? Anyway, hey, here's the gnome. <laughs> All right. <laughs> dolt. It's one of my favorite insults. I'm calling people dolt. Uh oh. <laughs> this game has a lot more personality than I remember it having. Like, characterization, I guess. Like, there's a sense of humor to this game, but there's not a lot of characterization. I don't know. Anyway, we got the gnome's powers. We're going to need those for the next part. Let's go up to the mana seed. We hold the sword up to the seed to power the sword. Because that's not... Whoa, wait a second. Hey, Clay! <laughs> See, my dog's name is Clyde, so when I say, hey, Clyde, he looks at me like, what are we doing? Where are we going? Oh, the Upperland Forest, eh? Is that up by uh, Circle Pines by any chance? That's a Mystery Science Theater 3000 joke. Anyway, yeah, we uh, we're done with this part. We got uh, we learned a little bit more about the sprites background. So let's get out, get the hell out of here. Um, boy, did we really have to backtrack all the way back? Ugh, fucking a. I guess we do, huh? Jesus, what the hell? There's no enemies or anything. Oh. Wait a second, do we... Eh, whatever. And we're gonna whip over here. Speaking of whip, you know what I just remembered? We have the magic rope. That's the whole point of this freaking thing. Let's get out of here. I forgot about that. Yeah, use the magic rope, it gets you out of here. Okay, good. And we're back in the dwarf village. Let's get the hell out of here. And we've got an axe orb to uh, give to what's his name to prove that axe that we won't ever use. Actually, we'll use it sometimes. Let me take a sip of my Tullamore Dew. Yeah, I switched from Jameson to Tullamore Dew. And uh, I recommend you do you uh, do that also. No, I'm not under endorsement to Tullamore Dew. I just recommend it because Jameson's a little harsh sometimes. But Telemar do it's pretty good. Yeah, I'm really drunk in case you can't uh, tell. Really, really drunk. It's you know, it's like I get a, not a lot of I don't want to use the word pressure. I don't use a like to like you need to be drunk when you play these let's plays. And I was like, yeah, I try to be. But the thing is <laughs> When I, when I try to be drunk when I play these last plays, I'm really a mess. <laughs> like, it's not fun for the viewer, for me, for anybody. I'm kind of like a scatterbrained idiot when it comes to Let's Plays. It's like, Jesus Christ, all I want to do is show off like how great this game is. And I'm just like this jackass idiot when I freaking hit these lullaby tulips or whatever the fuck they're called. Anyway, let's move along. Our next step, I think we want to go to Pandora, right? I think. Let's go to Pandora. Not Pan not to be confused with Pandora. Alright, anyway, we want to uh, go to Pandora. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.